Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. Welcome to my old and new subbies. I'm so glad to have you all here today. As you can see, we are going to be making some welcome signs today, lovies. So this is a pretty quick video, guys, and pretty self-explanatory. We're going to start, we're going to be using folk art and waverly paint throughout and as you guys can see you'll see the different colors it's going to be basically green and pink green and red um on the two different signs one will be a strawberry sign one will be a watermelon sign and then i made one little small watermelon sign hanging sign so probably going to be just a lot of me rambling on throughout this video because like i said it is really self-explanatory Okay, now I did have to set up shop um, in a different part of my little bitty apartment <laughs> just because the signs were so massive. Um, I couldn't use, do it at my normal crafting table. So um, I had to venture out a little bit. So you won't see like the full scale of me doing um, the full on decorating of the signs. But just stick around to the final reveal and you will see them now. I picked the welcome signs up from Michaels. They were on clearance for $7. And plus I got some discounts and rewards and all that stuff. Now this strawberry sign I did get from woodpeckerscrafts.com. I do have a link for for discounts in my description box if you guys are interested i am an affiliate with them um so pretty much what i get from them is pretty affordable they do have some more expensive things but what i usually feature on my channel is usually under five bucks um, for the most part now what you saw that see that i'm doing here is i'm taking these little leaves that came in a pack i think i got them from hobby lobby if i'm not mistaken and i just wanted to give the strawberry a little bit of a three-dimensional feel so that's what you see i'm doing here now okay guys so yep y'all know i had to go in and try and decoupage and stuff and this is where i'm like okay this is decoupage gone wrong now i was just so hyped about this so this sign is going to be for my um younger sister she wanted a strawberry welcome sign i'm going to do the welcome sign um the watermelon welcome sign for myself and i was just so hyped about doing strawberry so i was like okay strawberry this strawberry that and this is one time where i was just like you know what you went a little bit too far, May, with the decoupage. <laughs> it didn't come out as I envisioned it. And I will be perfectly honest with you guys. I was not proud of this project. Um, there was no wow factors here. And I've only done a couple of large welcome signs like this. And they've pretty much come out pretty cute for the most part. But this one, like I said, I just went too far. It was too busy. I had too many things going on in my head and I let them all come out and go plunk right on this side. Okay. So yeah, that's the only thing. It was just too many things mixed up in here and um, it just went left. And full disclosure to you guys, you are going to be seeing some of my donkey curls popping in and out of the video because it was getting intense. I was just really getting like, okay, I need to fix this. I need to do something. <laughs> and it wasn't happening. <laughs> I was just going too far. And, um, but I may try to go back and see if I can save it. Um, and you guys can definitely let me know how you feel about it. You guys know I respect, you know, honest feedback on this channel as long as it's tactful and respectful. I receive it. I do. And I love my strawberry right there. And I should have just left it with that. And what I was going to originally do is put hello and welcome. And so what I end up doing, and you guys will see it, is where I just put hello. And then I'm going to put strawberry on this strawberry. So on this particular sign, I am using my heavier duty um, Gorilla Glue here. And that's just because it had more heavier pieces attached to it. A lot of pieces attached to it. And so I was like, I just need to make sure this is going to stay put. And I do seal it with um, some uh, primer at the end. Um, but I don't capture that on camera. So here, again, not, I don't know where I was going. I had this cloth. I was like, okay, let's make it kind of like a strawberry stand. <laughs> With the strawberries just all over. 
cause like all over the place, guys. I'm telling y'all, I don't know. This brain, this brain comes up with so much stuff sometimes. It's just really, 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 really hard to keep up with. I don't know. I just, I've been in overload. I don't know. I don't know. I've been overthinking things. I think I need to take a little bit of a vacation. But, um, yeah, and my allergies, guys, I'm sorry. My allergies are in full effect. Um, right now it's just been so windy and the weather has been so up and down here but um yeah both my myself and my son were both jacked up right now my mom too i saw her at the time of this video i saw her tonight she was kind of jacked up as well but we're all a hot mess so bear with me um next i had this little um wired like um leaf garland i guess um or twine i don't know what you want to call it but i just made a little curly cue and added back to the top and i know it's kind of far away guys but again this was really the only way i could capture it and i'm sorry and I, I wish it was better but you guys know my space is limited so give me a little grace okay i'm just happy that you guys are here thank you and now this is where i'm going in with the stencil so I have a cutout of the word hello. So I'm just going to be using the word strawberry from here. And I'm sorry, my camera was trying to focus, um, but it does come back and focus towards the end. And you guys will see that in just a few seconds here. And I'm taking some of the yellow paint. I got this stencil. Let me back up. I got this stencil off of Amazon, but I am in a... Um, in the Chocotour Club, and I did use some of the Chocotour paste to apply that yellow. And I forget the name of the yellow, but um, you can always find affordable stencils on Amazon if you don't want to go to Chocotour. But um, I do like both sometimes. Sometimes the ones on Amazon do bleed quite a bit, and there's a lot of little tricks you can do out there to um, to kind of mitigate the 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 bleeding but yeah it, it you know it is what it is you can always clean it up everything is fixable in crafting right right all right so now we're just moving on into the watermelon side now i painted this using the moss color by waverly and the color pink sky by waverly and i did water the pink down because i wanted a lighter uh, color pink because the watermelon slices as you saw there i wanted those in the true pink sky color then next i took some of this a leaf garland um again i'm calling it garland it may be ribbon uh, but i picked that up at hobby lobby just went down the sides there and i'm just guys again all self-explanatory i call myself trying to put some watermelon seeds here y'all gonna see on the other watermelon sign it started looking like little ants little bugs was crawling all over it which I guess would be fitting because if you had it at a picnic, ants would probably be all over it anyway, right? Right. See, my mind, my mind knew something that I didn't know. <laughs> no, but I fixed it. So right here, guys, I was like, okay, I'm going to try to add some seeds. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to try to add some seeds through um throughout. And yeah, they just look like polka dots. That's all it did. It looked just like polka dots. And I do need to go back. Maybe I was thinking like if I go back and um, add in a few more, maybe it'll look a little better. But I was like, this was my issue. I just kept adding so many little dots. It didn't look like a watermelon anymore. But we'll see. Y'all can let me know. Let me know. <laughs> and I'm not being hard on myself, guys. Just so you know, I'm just a realist. And, you know, these were not perfect. They were not perfect. They were cute. Not perfect. Now, that strawberry one left a lot to be desired, but it wasn't ugly. Okay? It was just me doing the May thing. That's all that was. And then right here, I don't know what made me put the little watermelon slice upside down, but I did it, and it was on there, and I couldn't get it off. So here is the half um, wood round. I did get this from Walmart. And this is where I'm going with the seeds. See? <laughs> I'm looking like a papaya. And so, <laughs> so right here, I'm like, okay, off camera, I went back, painted and redid it. And it looked a little bit better. I, I still need to practice on my seed making. And I added in some more little twine to hang it, some flowers, my little welcome sign. And um, I feel like I, I did I, yeah. I got that welcome sign from, I think from Hobby Lobby, guys. But that is it. And the final reveal is coming up right now. So let me know, guys, how you feel about it. 
Um, if I can get those, um, the decoupage part off right there, if I can get that off, <laughs> what should I put there, guys? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so stuck. I don't know what I was thinking. I, don't know. I mean, overall, it's not bad. It's just that little spot right there just looks really, really crazy to me. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. I don't know what I was thinking, guys, but I'm open to it. And here's the watermelon sign. Like I said, I think I like this one the most. I just need to go in and add in some more of my little polka dots to kind of bring it together a little bit more. I look like I just kind of made a little bit of a swirl. I didn't intend to do that, but that's what it looks like. And guys, if you are still here riding with me, thank you, loveys. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Just know that those comments are desired, not required, just because I absolutely love to chat with you guys after each and every video. And so until the next video, loveys, be safe, be kind, happy crafting your days away, hugs and kisses, XOXO, bye!